Dr. Carlson, thanks very much for sitting down with me, talking with me. We're at the Touchstone Conference right now, and you're going to be talking about politics tomorrow. Is that correct? A certain kind of politics, yes. What kind of politics are you planning to talk about tomorrow? Well, the issue being, uh, what do you do to fight the culture wars? Uh, and I, my, my argument tomorrow will be is that it's still possible to win the political side of the culture wars. Uh, one of the um, common assumptions is that in the United States, the culture wars, the battle over abortion, the battle over same-sex marriage, LGBT rights, that it's lost, that that's over, and that we need to do something different. My argument will be is that in Europe right now, some interesting things are happening, and a Christian politics is, in fact, growing and becoming more successful. We may have some things to learn from that. That's really interesting. What's, what's happening in Europe that's giving you some hope about this? Well, it's been the emergence of, in several countries of strong Christian governments uh, who are actually succeeding in rewriting and re-energizing Christian sexual ethics, family ethics, Christian morality into law. Uh, two countries in particular, uh, one is Hungary, uh, under the government of Viktor Orban, which has a very bad press in the United States, but uh, it's led by Christians. He, in fact, is a Christian convert to Calvinism. Um, married to a Catholic, and his go his government, which has run three elections in a row with super majorities in each case, uh, is peopled by uh, Christians, um, including several pastors who are members of the of the government. The head of the uh, our equivalent of Health and Human Services is a Calvinist pastor, uh, and they are doing some remarkable things in terms of promoting marriage promoting the birth of children within marriage and defending family life. That's at least one example. The other example would be in Poland. Law and Justice Party, uh, which is the ruling party since 2015, has a very similar program. So there's some lessons to learn, I think. Are there any Western European examples of places where Christian politics is being advanced? Or There is. It's one that's sort of halfway right now. Uh, and that's in Italy, of all places. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a Christian Democratic Party in Italy, which helped rebuild Italy after World War II. We could maybe talk about that a little later. But uh, it, finally, the party just kind of dissolved into a web of corruption in the 1980s and 1990s and pretty well disappeared, leaving uh, Christians really nowhere to go in terms of voting. But there's a party in Italy, it was called the League, the Northern League, the League of the North, uh, which emerged around 1990. And it was mainly a, a negative party at, at first. It's, it's, it was opposed to immigration, uh, opposed to open borders. Uh, they did, League of the North, they did not particularly like Southern Italians. Uh, they thought the Sicilians were lazy welfare bums and things like that. So it was not a nice party. No. But, uh, and the last time they ran on those platforms uh, in 2012, they got 4% of the vote. So, I mean, it was kind of insignificant. However, the party changed. Mm -hmm. they, they got new leaders. Um, they um, adopted a pro-family, pro-Christian public policy. And in the 2018 election, they went from 4% up to 18% of the vote, drawing, drawing for the first time traditional Catholics to vote for them. This last April, I'm sorry, this last June, in uh, elections for the European Parliament, their vote total shot up to 36%, making them by far the largest party in Italy. They're currently not in a coalition government. They were for a while, but they are now the largest party, and they have a very distinct pro-life, pro-family uh, agenda. Uh, is there some cynicism behind this? Well, in politics, usually there is. Uh, there's some politicians latching onto it who maybe whose personal stories are not ideal. Uh, but uh, the party has reinvented itself as a pro-life, pro-family party, and they're winning elections.